my philosophy for building a great physique is that uh, you should first lean down to 9-10% body fat and then from that point you slowly gain size until you reach 14-15% body fat. At that point you uh, stop your lean bulk and you cut back down to 9 or 10% body fat. You cycle your cuts and bulks in this body fat range until you build the um, level of muscle you are happy with. This way you never get too fat to lose muscle definition or to start to lose insulin sensitivity. Sounds great, right? This is a solid way to do things. But what if you are too slim to diet or too fat to bulk? What should you do in that uh, scenario? Well, let me answer by showing you something. This is one of the most popular streets in our city. It's from the city center. Looks pretty good, right? I mean, as good as a street can look like. It, it's not like it stands up. But, uh, for this area to be nice and pretty, like it is today, it first had to look like this. Yeah, pretty bad, right? A pretty dramatic change. Just a few months ago, that street looked like this. Of course, nobody likes this stage. Transportation is difficult, um, tourists don't even want to come here, and you can't even take a leisure walk without getting your shoes dirty. But everyone understands that this step is necessary to improve our streets. It is exactly the same for your physique. On your fitness journey, I believe that uh, you should accept looking bad for a while in order to reap the benefits in the future. Because if you find yourself in that purgatory state where you are uh, too slim to diet and too fat to bulk and you feel that any change will make you look uh, worse, you're probably right. But you need to choose one of them because otherwise you will be barely making progress. If you have been training for less than two years, so uh, you are a beginner or maybe an intermediate, well, I think that at any given time you should, you should be changing your weight. You should be either losing weight or you should be gaining weight. So you should uh, either be cutting or bulking. I believe that you shouldn't uh, be chasing bad recomposition, meaning simultaneous uh, fat loss and uh, muscle growth, because that process is very slow. Just to put some numbers out there, um, the average guy that bulks in his first year of training can gain maybe 15 pounds of muscle and uh, a guy that is doing body recomposition in his first year of training he can still gain muscle but he can maybe gain half that and uh, in the end if you do the math he will get to his goal physique later it will take longer than the guy that is doing a direct approach either bulking or cutting body recomposition in my opinion should be reserved for the people that are mainly happy with the way they look and uh, they mostly want to maintain but still be making uh, small improvements because we, we all want to improve but if you are not happy with your physique then don't go for body recomposition go for what you want most size or leanness that's it guys just a quick idea I wanted to share with you uh, if you want to get more in depth into this stuff, then I highly recommend you check out my free ebook, The Path to Your Goal Physique. Click here and get it for free. Because this ebook uh, lays out the way your fitness journey needs to go down from any given uh, starting point. So even if you are fat, skinny fat, um, average, uh, super skinny, no matter uh, what your physique type is, in this ebook you will find the steps you need to take to get to your goal physique. I give you the definition for the goal physique also if you, uh, you can choose your goal physique also. So click here and download it and read it and uh, tell me what you think about it. Thank you, I'll be seeing you in the next video.